Here we go, take three. Round to the left under the bridge, you can go to Birmingham and Oxford. Straight on goes to Rugby. Up on top of the bridge, you can see lovely fields that are all around here. Looking now to the left in the direction of Oxford and Birmingham. To get to Birmingham, about, about two or three miles along there, you can make a right hand turn which will take you up through Calcutt Locks and on to Leamington. Here back at the junction on the bridge you can see Birmingham, Oxford, Coventry, London. Now folks just come out from the Birmingham and Oxford route and he's coming now towards us towards Rugby. He could have come out the arch further back and if he wanted to go to London, he would have come out there. They're both angled to make it easier to take whichever direction you require. Looking down towards London, NB Valerie is in the distance. We're going to zoom in towards it now. There we go. You can see the wind jenny on top. And we can get now a closer view. Plenty of muddy puddles along here. We've had a lot of rain last few days. But that's boating. Muddy towpaths. And there's the front of my baby. The satellite dishes up. The boathouse pub across the way. Turning towards the fields again. It's just open fields all the way across as far as you can see. Just a few cows munching grass. Back over from the pub, there's a holiday boat just coming in, the kids have jumped off, one's got the front rope, one's back, running back to get the back rope off mum. I assume they're going to come in and have a meal in the pub. There's Valerie across the way. The wind Jenny is picking up some lovely wind coming across the open field. And behind Valerie, we're going to now see a plastic boat, better known as a cruiser. There she is. But we call them plastic pigs or Tupperware pots. The boat in the foreground is a day boat. You can hire that for about £120. You can get about 12 people on there. There's Valerie again. Now looking back to where we were before, we can see the hire boat has got themselves into the bank just in time before the other boat comes by. Now that's the cafe boat. The first boat is the accommodation for the owners. The second boat is the actual cafe boat seats about 12 people you can get a really nice fry up on there and you can spend a very peaceful hour on there with cups of tea and a breakfast and chatting to everyone else looking up towards Braunston village up on the skyline behind the trees the village nothing but fields between the canal and the village up there you can see someone's built themselves a house must have a wonderful view from there, right over the canal and over the marina. Braunston Marina. Round to the left, there is another part of the marina, which is twice the size of what you see there. Looking to the right, the original route of the canal. It used to go underneath, it used to go straight through here, but now goes underneath the two bridges we saw earlier, the two white bridges. This is up by the bottom lock. Chandry on the right sells boat bits, spare parts, etc. And zooming in is the workshop. That boat looks as though it's been chopped and made shorter. That's the hire fleet there on the left, all covered up for the winter. Won't be many people going out on boats this winter. This is the bottom lock. On the left hand side, there's a wet dock where you can put your boat in, drain the water and work on the bottom half of the boat. Looking up towards the next lock, 
come on cycling up there with a windlass obviously going to set the lock for a boat coming up and you can see the lock gate is leaking how unusual this is the next lock up that little hut there was used to store salt and also the bodies of boatmen who sadly passed away they were kept there until they could be collected now a private residence this used to be a lock keepers house and you can see in the window there a nice stained glass scene depicting an arrow boat. The pub is the Admiral Nelson. This is a shop back at the bottom lock. It's the older lock keeper's cottage, but now a shop selling all the painted tinware lace plates, brass lamps, very small inside but it's packed floor to ceiling with all the pots and brasses and oh so many things it's, it's unbelievable it's a sight to see it really is also got a very big uh, second hand book stall in there and it also sells a few things for boaters like milk, bread few tin foods and it's handily open till about eight o'clock at night that's Fletchley and Argos working pair of boats that will come along and serve you diesel and coal and a few other bits and pieces panning up towards the village again there's the church that is the start of the high street the high street goes off to the right behind the trees a few sheep in the fields and if you can't hear them, they're going ba ba, a bit like that uh, squeezy little lamb we bought in Foreman or Toulouse or wherever it was. Can't remember now, Jack. Did make me laugh though, darling. Love you.